Hey there, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can come up with a lot of video ideas for your YouTube channel in a very short period of time. Not only will you come up with a lot of ideas, you'll come up with more ideas than you'll know what to do with, and all of them will be useful and help you grow your YouTube channel. But before we get going, I want to give a little bit of a precursor to what we're about to talk about. You see, a lot of people value, or at least a lot of social media out there, it talks about working super hard all the time, late hours, and just grind, 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 grind. And while I'm an advocate of grind, 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 I'm also an advocate of work smarter. If we can combine both working hard and working smart, and those hard working times can be more of like sprints where you can kind of chill for a bit and then sprint again. You don't want to get too burnt out, but know your body, know your capabilities and push yourself to the limit, but don't abandon the idea of being able to use tools that make things easier. And in the world today, there are so many tools out there that make things easier. Sometimes people get afraid of using the tools that are available to them for a couple of reasons. They might be afraid they're going to break something or they think that uh, the world's tracking them or whatever's happening. They might be paranoid, who knows? The truth is nowadays it's really hard to break your computer from a software perspective without knowing what you're doing and whether or not you're being tracked, you're being tracked no matter what you do. I mean, unless you just didn't use any digital devices, everything you're doing is being tracked. Down to the real quick story, I was talking about that trip I went to Scotland earlier this year, and I was just answering a question somebody asked me about uh, would I, it's because it's Halloween right now, people were asking, would you rather sleep in a, a spooky graveyard or in a haunted mansion? And I quickly said haunted mansion because maybe the one room is haunted, but I can get into another room that's probably not haunted. And they're like, how did that? How does that make sense? The whole the whole mansion is haunted. I was like, I don't know. I went to a castle in Scotland, and just one room was haunted. The rest of the castle didn't have any hauntedness to it, or at least that's what people said. They were like, yeah, this this room's haunted. Um, and after I got done talking about that, I opened up my phone and I had an email from that exact uh, city that that castle was in at like saying, Hey, come back and whatever. So it was, I was, I was, uh, fr flabbergasted as much as I know about marketing. And as, uh, as much as I know that we're still being tracked on everything, I, for some reason, it was a big surprise to me that I would get an email based on a conversation that I had literally 45 seconds prior to getting that email. So anyways, on to the topic generating a bunch of email ideas in a quick period of time. I want to recommend a tool that I, I, the people in my life that are around me are often afraid to even attempt it because they're afraid they don't know what they're doing and they're going to break something. I think that's the biggest fear for people. But I have been really interested in AI lately. And ChatGPT is, it's like the basic of, of, of AI uh, services and it's free and it gives it's super smart and I've used it in a lot of things. I've used ChatGPT to help come up with video ideas, titles, descriptions. Uh, at work, I use it for just bouncing ideas off of how we can structure meetings. Um, I have questions about things that maybe I, I can't get the exact answer from a Google search because I have to sort through a bunch of blog posts. Instead, I can look through, I can ask ChatGPT a question that give me an answer and I can go confirm it in places. But ChatGPT is like a super awesome tool that if you're not using it, you're missing out because essentially this is like having your own, cons your, li your little consultant right there in your pocket. And I know it's a very popular app and a lot of people have talked about ChatGPT or some sort of AI services. If you're not using it right now to come up with video ideas, this is the time to start doing it because, it, well, it's it's awesome. Now, this isn't necessarily a thing where you're going to ask ChatGPT a question and then you're just going to copy and paste and use exactly what ChatGPT gives you. The idea is to use ChatGPT or other AI services as a brainstorming partner. Imagine you were to ask a, fa a friend or you were to ask me, hey, what are some ideas for videos? I might give you some suggestions and then you would take that suggestion and make it into your own. 
And whatever you work with a service like ChatGPT on, you want to make sure to do that with everything. You, you don't want to just copy and paste and use everything it gives you. Descriptions, titles, ideas. You want to customize it so that it's coming from you. Even if you were to get like a script, I mean, you still want to take that script and just kind of adjust it to make it to where, you know, people don't think you're a robot or some AI. I just can't tell you enough how helpful ChatGPT has been for me whenever I get stuck in a creative rut or I just don't know what the next thing to do is and you got this part where you go to ask the question. So uh, with that being said, uh, if you're not already using ChatGPT, I want to kind of show you uh, how to use ChatGPT a little bit and what you can do to come up with a bunch of video ideas and just a few clicks of a button. To start with, you're going to go to openai.com. You'll hover over products, go to uh, the section under ChatGPT, and click for everyone. Or the easiest thing to do would just be to go to Google and search ChatGPT. And then it'll take you to a Google uh, result and you'll just click on ChatGPT. ChatGPT will want you to open an account with OpenAI. You can just use your Google account. That's the, that's the way I did it. You have to confirm that you're old enough with a birthday and then you'll be ready to go. Essentially, you're gonna treat ChatGPT like it's a human, except for that you don't have to use all the niceties like please and thank yous and things like that. It doesn't really make a difference. So let me show you a quick prompt that I gave ChatGPT to get some video ideas. So here you can see I typed in the prompt. I'm, I'm starting a YouTube channel, but don't know what to make videos about. Can you please give me 30 ideas to get me started. And then it quickly jotted out a bunch of ideas of just general types of videos you can make. And then I said, uh, I wanna make videos documenting my journey on the carnivore diet. And boom, it put out a bunch of ideas and different categories or types of content uh, to explore. And it just remembered that I said I wanted 30 ideas. So it just kept with the 30 ideas uh, that I was looking for. So you can continue to use this. Now they do limit how many uh, prompts you can give ChatGPT in a 24 hour period, uh, but you can make multiple accounts if you want to or whatever. You probably don't even need that many as you're going. I mean, you got 30 video ideas right there. So it's not like you, you gotta get more ideas, but at the same time, if you're still looking for a niche, this is another great tool to help you refine your niche. You can tell ChatGPT things that are like very complex. You can you can talk for paragraphs and paragraphs in, in, in your conversation with ChatGPT and ask it to analyze what you've told it to give like to, to suggest the types of content that you should be creating based off of that, or maybe your content pillars or just all kinds. Of, it's such a great tool. And if you get using it and you're making, uh, you're using it to give video ideas, you're just scratching the surface. And if you start incorporating it into multiple ways, I don't think you're going to be uh, sad. But if you're totally against using ChatGPT for video ideas, I do have a quick, a small little uh, ebook that I put together. Uh, five video ideas for people that are starting out on YouTube and I left the link in the description and it's free so you can go grab that um, but I still encourage you to check out any type of service like this that's free that can really help you if these videos are something you're interested in I think you might really like uh, a video I recently did where I just talked about my journey uh, doing YouTube videos over the past six months and you can check that out right here and I hope to see you in a future video. So take care and leave any type of questions you have in the comments. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.